This is Kev. Um, welcome back to Mindful Mods. If it's your first time here, welcome. Um, today I'm going to be doing a shootout um, between a Mosky Spring Reverb, um, which you'll see in a second on the unboxing, um, and the Holy Grail Nano um, on its spring setting. I'm not going to look at anything else on the Nano, I'm not demoing that pedal, um, to see how they hold up together. Uh, I'm also going to try both reverbs with drive going through them, a TS, a cheap screamer circuit, um, the Joyo Vintage Overdrive, massively underrated pedal in my view. See my other demo about that here. Um, and I'm also going to try them both because I'm an acoustic guitarist as well, and you might be too. Uh, I'm going to try them both um, with an acoustic. So um, I decided to do that kind of halfway through recording this. Um, so yeah, let's see how they sound. Um, but first, let's get to the rather underwhelming with Mosky as always, uh, unboxing. Okay, so here it is. A uh, very simple box as normal from Mosky. The only real indication of what's inside is this on the end. And I can tell you without looking, there will be no instructions in there. There will be no little Mosky sticker, nothing. I, um, save money on the packaging so I've literally yeah, as suspected just got a box and a bit of bubble wrap and inside is my mosky spring reverb um, just this barcode in terms of decoration um, and you've got a dry wet mix here uh, this will this dwell um, knob probably just changes the length of the reverb by a long spring, a very short spring reverb. No batteries, just um, you need a power supply for this of some kind, 9 volt, center negative power supply. Um, I imagine, um, I'll probably have to do some googling that it's a low ampage requirement. All right, so I'm just going to take you through the various settings um, um, on the pedal, but I'm also going to do it next to um, my Holy Grail Nano. They're different pedals; they work differently. Um, the Nano increases the the amount of delay and the mix of the dry wet mix as you go higher and higher with the delay, which for me means it works really nicely as a kind of um, fairly dry, um, you know, short reverb that's what I tend to use it as and um, the Mosky you've got more control you've got the mix and the length of the delay um, so you can get some different sounds with it so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to turn both knobs up on the Mosky to try and get it similar to the, the Holy Grail I'm not sure how you know logarithmic um, the 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 knob is on the, on the Holy Grail okay but you, you'll see what I mean let's let's go and have a look Okay, let's take everything down to zero. Both of these pedals change the tone of the guitar. Here's my dry. As soon as I turn it on, you've got a brighter sound through the through the spring reverb on the Mosky, and the same on the Holy Grail. So I like that about it already. Even if you didn't have anything on it, either of them, it would be nicer brighter sound. Okay, let's take both of these, that's the dry wet mix, and the length of the delay up to the nine o'clock setting. And then up to 12.5. 
12 o'clock. Really much longer delay on a much longer reverb on the Holy Grail. Up to three o'clock. Holy Grail's also already in the like massively wet territory. And then on full. So it seems like you've got a lot more versatility with the Holy Grail in terms of the length and the wetness of the of the reverb. But I really like this sound on the Mosque. To me, much more usable sound. I know people who love this kind of thing, but it all sounds muddy to me. Now for me, given I don't use the um, those very long, very wet reverbs a lot, this would be better for me if I accidentally hit the, um, the knob or something when I'm playing live, it's not going to be into unusable territory um, very quickly. So, yeah. Alright, let's take them both down to a kind of more reasonable level. Okay, and let's put a bit of drive on it. This is a very, very cheap and almost exact um, TS, so I don't know what TS what, it sounds almost exactly like a TS Mini. Anyway, so we've got this kind of sound. with a bit more kick. Nice. Those sound pretty good. Into the massively Long territory. to put it about there. For me, the Mosky sounds better with a bit of drive on it. I must admit, I've tended to use the Holy Grail on my acoustic guitar uh, a bit more so uh, I've got an idea let's try them both on an acoustic guitar okay a bit more work for me but never mind
All right, so having that listen back, I mean, I think if I'm honest, the um, the Mosky is a bit more digital reverb sounding than it is spring reverb, which certainly in between um, digital and spring. Um, it doesn't behave faithfully like um, a spring reverb, but it's a very musical reverb. I, I think um, for me, everything sounded nicer <laughs> with this with the Mosky, and I really like the the Holy Grail Nano. I really do. Um, but everything seemed to sound nicer and there was definitely more control with two knobs rather than one and it's not too many that you're going to get confused. So yeah, swings and roundabouts. I think that the the Holy Grail is a more faithful spring reverb. But I'm starting to realise I'm not exactly sure that's what I want. So it worked nicer with the acoustic and it worked nicer with the electric. Um, I think between the two, I think maybe the Jury's still out, but maybe the Mosque was a little bit more transparent um, than the Holy Grail um, with the uh, with the overdrive on it. Um, I might change my opinion over, over the over time listening back, but all 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 told, first of all, the Mosque is significantly cheaper than the Holy Grail. It's very very good. It's really good, and it's exactly what I'm hearing here is what exactly what I was hearing on other demos when I was listening before I bought it um, and it's extremely usable, much more usable than any other reverb for my money at this price point. So um, of course it depends what you're playing, um, depends what you're using it for. Okay, um, if you liked the video, if you want to listen to more then um, more videos like this then hit subscribe, there's a few pedal demos coming up, um, guitar mods and, and various other things. And aside from that, I look forward to seeing you next time on Mindful Mods.